everyone and welcome back to my channel. Finally, I want to show you my new LED lamp, which I posted on Instagram last week. Some of you knew that I was looking for a new LED lamp. And after research, I found this lamp on Amazon and the ratings were also very good, so I decided to order it. It was also be said that the delivery was very quickly. I ordered it and I think after two days, it was already there. So we will work together with my new lamp today. Please watch this video until the end because at the end I have a special surprise for you. So this is the packaging. It is the Sun4 Smart Nail Lamp 2.0 from Sun UV. It is a 2-in-1 LED UV lamp. And then we open the package. It feels extremely light. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, here is the adapter and here you can see the 36 LEDs inside the lamp. So here are the four timer buttons and here is the socket for the adapter and this is the bottom side of the lamp. My adapter is suitable for the European plug. The next thing I would like to show you is the weight of this lamp. For this I will show you the difference between my regular UV lamp and my new LED. Here is my regular UV lamp. Now I put it on the scales and let's look how much it weighs. 74 grams. Oh my god, 74! And this is only one lamp, I work with two. Okay, for compare, the LED lamp from Sun UV, the weight of this lamp is 7 gram. Only 7. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, guys, I would like to go back to the timer buttons. The timer 10, 30 and 60 seconds have a time memory function. And the 99 second low heat mode is um, perfect to curb builder gel, for example. And back to the memory function, the lamp gets into corresponding timing if you press the button two seconds long. And if you want to clear the memory, you have to press the same button again for two seconds. And here you can see the display for the timer. The mode of 10, 30 and 60 seconds are countdown. The low heat mode and infrared sensors are clockwise. Now let's start in working with it. Today I want to show you how you can create your own personal color with two different colors. And for this I will use the Diva from Jet Set Beauty, a purple and a pure white. And for this I take some color from the tube with my brush and paint it on some foil. It was too less of the purple color, so I take a little bit more. I think that is enough. This is the amount I'm using. Now I clean up my brush and I'm using my same brush to take also a little bit from the white color. And I paint it also on my foil beside the purple color. And now I mixed both colors together. Can you already see how beautiful the color changes? But it is still too dark for me. I want a nice lilac for today's nails because I love the pastel shades in the summer. That's why I clean up my brush again and take a little bit more of my white and mix it again. Now you can see the color is changing more into a pastel shade. And this shade is the shade what I want. This is my color for today and you can mix it up the way you like it better. 
and I use Diva and Pure White. Now I will apply the color, the mixed color, here you can see on the foil, just like a normal gel color on the previously prepared nails with my gel brush. fingers I will use the pastel shade from the frosted nude collection this is a nice and tender pink which is not to cover after we have applied second color too we have to curl the nails and now comes the cool thing about this lamp as soon as you go inside the lamp with your hand, the machine starts by itself to curl the nails. That's totally cool because you don't have to push any button. And here you can see the curling time which is clockwise in this mode. And as soon as you go out of the lamp, the lamp goes off by itself. It's so fun because it is like a toy for all of us and that, of course, makes it so much easier to work with it. But how exactly does it work? Let's take a closer look. If you look very closely, you can see the infrared sensor here, which ensures that the lamp goes on by itself as soon as it detects the hand. It is a very cool thing. You don't even have to worry about whether the lamp is on or not, because it goes on by itself and after 120 seconds, the lamp goes off again by itself. Now the nails are curled, but I want to apply a second coat of the pastel pink color because it's still too transparent for me. both hands completely and curl them again. Now I will use my top gel coat non-wipe from Après because this top gel coat is suitable for curling in LED for 30 seconds and I would like to show you the 30 second function of this lamp also. of 10, 30 and 60 seconds are countdown and I will use a 30 seconds button to cure the top coat. As soon as she goes inside the lamp I press the button and here you can see on the display how the 30 seconds are countdown. I apply a second coat from the top gel on the ring and the next finger because I want to add some Swarovskis on the top of the nails. And for this, I use my Crystal Katana Rhinestone Applicator Tool and I add the Swarovskis in the not cured top gel directly. This 
This method to add the Swarovskis is also a cool trick with many nail techs do to not lose the shine of the stones. I glued the stones in my last video on the nail because the gluing method lasts much longer, but that's up to you how you want to do it. Now we cure the nails again for 30 seconds. And this is the finished look. And I always end up my work with applying cuticle oil around the cuticle area. This is very important. Please do that every time when you finish the nail. this lamp so much and it makes your work so much easier. And after I tested the lamp, I contacted the company Sun UV and asked them if it is possible that they sent me a discount code for you. And yes, they sent me a discount code that I share with you down in the description box together with the link for the lamp. I hope this video is helpful for those who are looking for a very good and not too expensive lamp. I also would be very happy if any one of you owns this lamp and shares his experiences with us down below. If you enjoyed this video today, so please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, then please subscribe now. If you want to see more about my work, you can follow me also on Instagram and Facebook. And thanks again for watching, we will see you in the next video.